Welcome to Sunday School, everyone. We're so happy you can join us today and partake in our virtual Jesse tree. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the fifth ornament on our Jesse tree. So this is day five. And it is an, another story about Abraham, um, but a different one from the one we heard yesterday. So Father Marshall, can you tell us a little bit about this next story on our Jesse tree? I can, maybe we can, we can hold up our, our ornaments. See, this is mine. Look at that. There's a ram here. There's a ram, yep, there you go. So this story is, is kind of scary in some ways. Um, you know, we were talking before this when we were getting ready to the taping um, and, and thinking about what it means um, I'm, I'm the firstborn child in my family. I was the first son to my parents. I was also the first child. I was the first grandchild that was mm -hmm. born to my family. Isaac, Isaac was the first child, the only child born to Abraham and Sarah. He was the, the very vision of the promise of God that we talked about yesterday. But then God says to Abraham, I want you to take your son, your only son, the one whom you love, and I want you to take him to the mountain I show you and sacrifice him. Wow. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing to have to face the sacrifice of not only the son that you love, but the fulfillment of all the promises that God has made. And uh, we can't imagine no. what Sarah must have felt or what Abraham must have felt um, taking Isaac to the mountain. But he does. He takes fire. He takes wood. He takes a knife. And Isaac actually asked him, Father, where's the ram? And Abraham tells his son, God will provide. But it isn't until the very last moment possible that God calls to Abraham and says, stop, you don't have to do this. Your faith has proved you. Look, to your, look over there and there is a ram caught in a thicket. And so Abraham sacrifices the ram instead of Isaac. There's actually a special name for this in Hebrew scripture. It's called the Akeda. I know you were wondering about that, but yes. but it's such an important story. And it's so important to our journey with God to understand that sometimes the very dearest things to us um, will be seen as things we have to let go of in order to take the next step with God. But that God is always with us in that. There's an, there's an old Hebrew word called chesed, which means God's steadfastness. God's, God never leaves Abraham's side. Um, and we learn a new path. The funny story about Isaac, you know what Isaac means in Hebrew? Oh, what does it mean? It means laughter. Because huh. Sarah was really old when God told her that she was going to be a mother and she didn't believe God and she laughed. And so she named her son Laughter. So there you go. That's wonderful. That's a nice positive side to the story. Exactly, exactly. So that's, so that's uh, now we're on day five of all this. Wow, we're really moving through Advent. We are. Thank you, Father Marshall, for sharing the story with us. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, remember to share your virtual Jesse tree with us on social media. We'd love to see it. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day six and the next story. Uh, which is about Jacob, I believe. I believe it is. And some of you even have a special toy that's named after this very right. story. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you tomorrow. Tune in to find out. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.